In this video, I'll be doing a speed test on Vodafone UK's LTE network. Now, in recent times, many of the telcos in UK have deployed LTE services. So, one of the reasons why I decided to go with Vodafone is the fact that Vodafone now has control of um, the largest slice of the uh, 800 megahertz LTE spectrum. 800 megahertz is the lowest um, frequency that is used here in the UK for LTE services and obviously the, the advantage of um, having a lower frequency is you get better propagation and better penetration. So before I start I'm doing the uh, speed test. I'm I'm just going to show you that I am indeed on 800 megahertz, and we can do that by uh, running a few tests. Um, so I think th the number to bring it up is that. I'm always slightly confused with this. Uh, yep, that's right. So. We've got a few test menu up, and uh, where is this again? Uh, there we go. So frequency band indicator 20. If you can see that, ooh, it's out of focus. There we go. So that confirms the fact that we are connected to the network on band 20, which is 800 megahertz. And since Vodafone owns the largest spec, uh, yeah, largest slice of this uh, spectrum, they've got um, larger bandwidth as well. Because the more frequencies you fre frequency slices that you own, the more data you can modulate within that frequency. Um, so I'm just going to uh, quit back out and just to show you. So we all know Wi-Fi is turned off. In the top left corner, we can see Vodafone 4G. Uh, ah, I hate this. There we go. Vodafone 4G in the top left. Okay, so I'm going to bring up my speed test app. Alright, so that load that up really quick and um, it sort of detected the closest server really quickly. So I'm just going to um, begin test and see what speeds we get this Sunday afternoon. I'm not based in London, so I'm actually running this test from Surrey, just 10 minutes away from London Heathrow. Alright, so that's not too bad. I've got 44 point eight five megabits downstream. The highest I've recorded with this line is fifty one megabits per second. So that's oops that's quite oh crap. That's quite um quite impressive. Um the upload speed is actually faster than my home um broadband. I've got um hundred and twenty megabits per second Virgin Media broadband but the upload speed on on that line is just um 11 megabits per second so i'm going to um, do another test now let's do a real download test okay there is an app here let me just bring it up bear me a second um, right got this app here it's called nav free UK and Republic of Ireland. So this is a free set nav um, software. Um, the thing about this software is you've got to add your maps on. I paid for the ad, ad free version. So that's the price for all the maps that comes with it. Uh, sorry, that you, you can pay to add on. And basically, um, if you pay to add on, then um, you would download those, those maps respectively. Okay, I've actually opened the wrong one, sorry. Um, let's open the American one um, because it's a lot easier to do here. Um, 
it's not that it's easier but the maps here are free to download so it's easier for me to show you this so obviously america is a really large um, country uh, well the, the united states so you've got to, um, the choice of downloading the maps individually um, for free um, which is uh, good um, with this software so I've got New York and New Jersey installed now they're actually um, part of the same package so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove it uh, the, oh sorry reinstall rather so if I tap yes it should start downloading 72.5 megabytes so um, I'm just doing this to show us how long it takes to download the 72.5 megabyte um, file over LTE so it's very fast um, you can look at the timeline on this video to see how long that actually took but um, it's fast enough for me mm. okay there we go so we've installed the map of New York and New Jersey no that didn't take too long okay I'm going to wrap this video up so this was just a quick demonstration and um, because a lot of people are wondering what sort of speeds I can get if I join Vodafone um, there isn't many speed has benchmarks out there for this uh, particular combination so this is um, the iPhone 5s obviously um, because um, yeah if this was the iPhone 5 then it wouldn't support band 20 LTE so um, that's it thanks for watching